We now join James in the audience. This is very bizarre. <clears throat> Did someone just hang a lamp or a light in, in their house, like from a ceiling, a ceiling lamp, or just bought a ceiling lamp? You did? Okay. There's a lady here speaking to me about this, and I feel like it's my mother's side of the family. Okay? So I'm not sure. I think your mother's still alive, though, isn't she? Yes. So it'd be her mother, I believe. That's okay? Correct. And that she's coming in here talking about you looking for a lamp or hanging the ceiling lamp. I'm not sure it was in a dining room you were doing this. That's correct. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. This is so weird. And she said to me, he wanted a special kind of lamp, and he had to go around looking for it in different places. You yeah, understand? That's correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little girl, girl, girlfriend. You have a girlfriend there, do you? Oh, I have is a beautiful Mary? wife. Is this her right here? Yeah. Okay. I want you to stand, please. So this lady is loves you. She <laughs> thinks you're you're adorable, and she's very much a guide of yours, sir. Very much in tune with you. And there's an uh, M A name also associated here, Mary or Mar Mary Lou. What's the yeah. M A name? Uh, my name is Matthew. Mar her name was Margaret. That's it. Okay, good. There we are. Mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you, Margaret, or Maggie, um, is very connected with you. And I'm telling you, I don't know if you have a son yet. You do. Okay? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> He's a blessed angel, this boy, she said. I'm telling you, this lady is so much a teacher and a guide of yours. You know, we talk about protection. People protect us. This lady protects you. And she loves you. And you're like a daughter to her as well. Or a granddaughter, but more like a daughter. Um, I know that there are some problems you had earlier on in a relationship, she's telling me, and it didn't work out, yeah. and you had to let that one go yes. so you could have this one. I'm very lucky. You understand that? <laughs> understand that? You so, guys understand <laughs> Yeah, it's a blessed relationship. Is this your mom here too? My, my Her mother. Your mom, okay. And um, I know one of your kids needs a bigger room. You understand that? And, <laughs> okay. sharing a room right and now. there was talk about getting a bigger place for the kids. Right. You understand yeah, this is what she's talking about? Awesome you know this too, mom? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I. Okay, I know that's either going to be happening, she's talking to me about, or it's like almost here right now happening. And your father, by the way, <clears throat> has been very difficult with, with the father situation, all right? I, okay, <laughs> Where, you, I don't know what this means, your father. I don't know what this means. Hold on. Did your father, your father's also passed over, right? Yes. Your father's passed over. Um, because he's here and he's talking about a bad situation with him, okay? So I want to tell you that your father is giving you a lot of love which he did not show you when he was alive. Yes. You understand? Yeah, because absolutely. he couldn't convey his emotions. Absolutely. Don't know if he worked around it, but he loved money. Okay? That's him. I, okay, you understand that? Absolutely. I also see if he either wanted to own land or um, have land because I think there was a lot of, um, unfortunately, there was a lot of uh, emotion and a lot of anger over something to do with the land and who owns it and this one's fighting for this part of the land and we want it, family squabbles and this sort of thing. Is it still ongoing, sir? Well, it's getting resolved to some degree. Yes, because he, know, he, he knows he did a wrong thing. I appreciate that. It started from him, okay? And he's coming back to me, to me. Hold on. Very emotional here with him. He's coming back through me to tell you he's sorry he created problems. Thank you. He's so are, sorry he created trouble. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay? I appreciate that. You needed to hear this, that sir. That goes a long ways. Yeah. You needed to hear this because um, he's, he's apologizing to you. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, he also tells me, oh boy, this is interesting. It's like tell-all here. Um, <laughs> I found out the best secrets in families. Um, but it's, it's, he's telling me that his life was lived more like himself. It all revolved around himself. And he had to learn to think of others, and he didn't. Okay? It's been a problem, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's come a long way to ask for forgiveness. I appreciate it. And he Give wants it. your help with settling up the family matters. Very good. Okay? Thank you. All right? I'll leave with that. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Did someone just hang a lamp or a light in, in their house? Was that a huge surprise for you? Is this true? Yeah. At first, I thought it was kind of uh, a general statement but that more of than me could have done that. You know, other people could have done that. But uh, yeah, I just went and I shot for two ceiling fans and put one in my dining room and one in my kitchen. and. Uh, we had one that matched and one that didn't, so I had to shop for the other one to match it, and I was looking at it until about midnight at night, so yeah, it was, it was kind of funny about that. I know one of your kids needs a bigger room. We have two children, and my wife is two pregnant with the third. One. <laughs> so yeah. Congratulations. Thank We've you. been talking about a, a new, bigger house, and... Uh, Need more room. <laughs> yeah, <I bet. laughs> Desperately. I bet. 
I know that there were some problems you had earlier on in a relationship, she's telling me. I was actually married before I met Matthew, and it was kind of funny because I had a real difficulty kind of getting over that last relationship, putting that behind me, and a lot mm -hmm. of prayer. And what kind of cinched it for me was I was I had a little precious moments Bible and I flipped it open and in a little passage it had like the characters and it said he cares and it was Matthew and then the Psalm or the the one that it was so I thought well that's kind of weird I'm gonna well, call that <laughs> <laughs> I was driving down the street and I was uh -huh. like okay what do you want me to do should I you know what should I do should I start with a new relationship try to fix my old relationship what should yeah. I do and a big billboard says he cares. I looked at it and I thought, no. Two blocks later, another big billboard, he cares. <laughs> so that pretty much cinched him. <laughs> and here you are and you're expecting very your second so. baby. I'm very blessed, so I know uh, that there is a hand that's in it. <laughs> your third. Awesome There's your mom saying yes. your third. <laughs> it was because he's here and he's talking about a bad situation with him. I'm going to guess, just watching your body language out there at the beginning of the read, that you may have been a bit of a skeptic coming in. Am I right? Not only was I a skeptic, I wasn't, wasn't even supposed to be here today. I, I'm scheduled to be on, was scheduled to be on a uh, water tender on a fire, and believe it or not, a motor blew up last night. Consequently, I was here. I see. Normally, that would have never happened. How do you so, feel about that? Well, I'm kind of a believer in some of those sign deals, and in fact, I felt a lot of times that he has communicated with me. I've been one-on-one -on -one circumstances where you just suddenly feel that, yeah, I know you're there. And uh, you can feel special moments if you're really open to it. But I think you have to be quiet and listen sometimes. And You felt he made a connection, James connected with oh, your dad? I felt I drifted from James to my father. Really? Yeah, so it was pretty special for me. I'm so glad. And definitely a skeptic, yes I am. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I understand. <laughs> I 